Good morning, everybody. It's December the 1st. I'm in Drammen, Norway, and I'm taking up on a challenge of filming my life every day during the month of December. I got inspired by some of the people who are doing it in Estonia. They call it Vlogmas and they try to film as much as possible during December. Honestly, it feels um, like it's not possible to do it. I, I already feel like how am I going to get out video every day. Uh, but um, let's see. How many days can I do it or can I do it the whole month? And yeah, uh, let's start with my day then. That's my usual morning routine as I stay with Melis at his small apartment, small but cute. Uh, but uh, every morning I need to remove my bed <laughs> from the living room and turn it into the living room and today is a very special day because it's also the last day in Norway and when I woke up I already felt nostalgic for these times it has been super cool month but tomorrow I'm going to Thailand for a longer time to stay in Asia and I am excited so I just uh, prepared a little bit, I made a list of what I should buy and I went out to just uh, get some things done and as you can see my shoes are not proper shoes for this winter and also I discovered that my trousers were not warm enough so I came back home and put another trousers and also took second pair of gloves and that was enough to beat the winter in Norway uh, for this time. I had a really strange feeling today. It's like I have been waiting for this moment to get to Asia for so long. Uh, for I would say almost a year, but, uh, but for last two, three months I have really been waiting for this moment and tomorrow is my flight and I'm so excited because I have no idea when I will be coming back, how long I will stay in Asia and what is going to happen. I'm just, um, <laughs> I'm just uh, excited about all this. So I was just uh, taking my time walking around in Drummond and uh, yeah, having this last uh, walk in this uh, small town, which is um, like, it has 100,000 people and it is quite small, but uh, it feels uh, like home because it's similar size as uh, my hometown Tartu is in Estonia. And uh, you can walk everywhere in Drammen and uh, as I live in down center everything is so close and uh, this uh, town has really <laughs> felt like home for this last uh, month. So here you can see the construction works that are going on and this is the only place where I can uh, go out eating in Norway. Okay, I could go out to other places, but just I don't want to break the bank. Uh, the eating out is quite expensive, so <laughs> sometimes when I just feel like uh, treating myself going to eat somewhere, I just go to McDonald's because McDonald's is relatively cheap, I would say. Uh, I think this uh, meal which I bought was about 7 euros, which is, is not bad. And while I was eating, I was thinking about my game plan. I, I really wanted to enjoy my last day and just walk around, maybe discover some new places which I haven't seen. And I wanted to go to normal. Normal is this kind of epic shop. 
in Norway, which has super good prices. And it also has really good selection of uh, different, uh, different, all of this kind of things that you, you are looking for in other shops and you might not find them. But in this shop, all these uh, small items and every possible thing is there. <laughs> So I was just taking my time looking around and uh, I wanted to buy some creams uh, before I leave for Thailand and Asia and I, I was very happy because the creams I got were super cheap and uh, yeah it was a really good deal as you can see the ramen is uh, in full Christmas mode and also the ice skating areas have been uh, open now or maybe not officially <laughs> but, but people were ice skating there and uh, yeah the, the Christmas mode is fully on after that I was looking for the post office and I can give you the spoiler alert, I really didn't find the post office. I tried, but I failed. But what I found was even better than post office. I somehow accidentally found super epic shop, which was called International Food Center. So it had all the food you could imagine that is not common uh, in Norwegian shops, but maybe people from outside different countries would like to buy. The selection was so good, like selection for pickles or sauerkraut or, or rice. The, the, there was crazy selection of different rices. <laughs> I even didn't know that rice could be so special that you have so many options. You can see condensed milk, which is very, very like not Estonian thing, but super common in Estonia. These candies, cow candies. I had no idea I could find them also in uh, Norway. So I was just chilling around ah, and this crazy amount of different types of peanut butter that that was impressive uh, and also halva uh, which is also uh, quite uh, typical or like this kind of uh, special food in Estonia we love to eat halva and I also found some Japanese uh, lights I really wanted to try them but I, I forgot to buy them so I think I spent like maybe even almost one hour in that shop because everything was so interesting yet yeah, and this is buckwheat guys buckwheat I was about to cry when I saw buckwheat because that's yeah we love it uh, buckwheat in Estonia and I was looking for it and it was there different kinds of coffees uh, this is the rice selection or only very small part of it of course like super 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 huge selection of rice and kohoke guys that's the Estonian favorite and dumplings uh, yeah we love dumplings so I was actually really surprised because I have not seen such a big food shop for international food in my life before. And it was like a really big, nice shop, a lot of room. Usually when you go to this kind of shops, it's, it's, uh, it's not that big shop. It's like somewhere at the corner and you need to find it. And then there is like maybe a uh, few shelves uh, but um, that one was great and then yeah I had to go to my water park because yep that's what I had to drop off 
uh, to get my deposit back but also because at home I don't or at Melis's home I don't have a hair dryer because my bag is not big enough for carrying that so <laughs> That's how I used uh, the opportunity to wash my hair and uh, to dry them because during the winter it's absolutely super difficult to, uh, to wash your hair when they are long and you don't have the dryer, you can really get sick later. And I said but bye to the water park because I'm not going there anymore. And again, Norwegians, they are now full on ice skating everywhere around the town and uh, some kind of ice hockey was already going on here it was uh, so cool to see uh, and I decided to <laughs> I don't think I have been to so many shops in a long time so I went to the last one to get some food and it was great feeling because when I came to um, Drummond, that shop was the first shop where I went and now I went there again and I just remembered how I felt the first day and how I felt now and just in one month I feel like home and I'm very happy about my time in Drummond. <laughs>